edition of the Morning Cup. Paige Arizona's Morning Show. Thanks, guys, for being here. Thanks for liking, commenting, and sharing on all these videos. We really do appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a good one out there. And if not yet, hopefully soon. It is Friday for most of us out there. Oh, it's been a heck of a week, man. Heck of a week. Renee says, good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Good to see you. Oh, speaking of which, it's still in the truck, Renee. <laughs> Roberta says, woohoo. Good morning, y'all. Have a fantastic day. You too, Roberta. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. <coughs> oh, we got a st bunch of stuff's popping in over here. What do we got? Uh, Diana has, uh, looks like an angry coffee cup. All right. <laughs> Sarah says, good morning for the blacks. Good morning. Good to see you. Yeah, it's been an interesting week. I'll give you that, man. I, I, I don't even know. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. It has just been, uh, it's been long. A lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Don't you hate it when that happens? Week just kind of goes... But at least it's Friday. I don't know if you guys saw the title as you came in today, but it's the Friday of Doom. I, I don't know why I put that in there, really, but there it was. You know, I had a couple of other ideas, but that one won out. Not that my ideas, you know, they have they have wills of their own, I guess. Uh, let's see. Matt says uh, NFL is back. Woohoo! All right, there you go. And Matt says good morning, good morning, good to see you. All right, so NFL is that? Is it that's NFL season? I'm assuming. I, I have a, a friend of mine is actually he's going to watch a Steelers game over on the East Coast. They flew over there and they're doing all that kind of stuff. So I suppose it's that season if you're into that kind of thing. Awesome. <sighs> Sorry, I'm still half dead. I don't even know. I don't even know why. Well, actually, I take that back. I was up till like 11.30 last night doing uh, some radio stuff and uh, woke up at 5, so I guess that would do it. I guess that would do it. John says we should call it a week instead. <laughs> I guess that works as well. I can see that doing it. It is a week. Just so weak. I don't know. So uh, hopefully your guys' week has been good, and uh, hopefully your Friday is even better, and this weekend hopefully it's even more amazing out there. We'll keep our fingers crossed for you. Make it happen, man. Make it happen. All kinds of stuff that I'd like to get done, but uh, huh? well, we can do what we can, right? I do have some plans for this weekend. Uh, Going to be working on Lois's uh, car. All kinds of fun stuff. Got to replace uh, all of the suspension, all of the brakes, <laughs> and a bunch of other odds and ends. It's been needing to get uh, quite a bit of maintenance done for quite some time, and well, now it's finally in the cards. So uh, tomorrow is going to be disassemble the car day and reassemble the car day. So that's going to be exciting. And I'm going to be videoing it so I can make a little uh, fun stuff for YouTube. So uh, when those come out, make sure you check them out, guys. I actually like doing those kinds of videos more than I like doing the news of the morning show. Although the morning show is, is fun sometimes, except for when I'm, like, mostly dead. <laughs> Which I guess would be today. Mostly dead. I've been mostly dead all day. All right, let's see. Lois has been working on some stuff for us. Let's see, we've got uh, the people category today. She uh, has added some more things for us. That's always exciting. Uh, she says, okay, Paige PD, I'm challenging y'all. This is a hilarious community outreach and engagement. Oh, no. Do I even want to know? Do I even want to know, Lois? What do you got? What do you got? All right. Ah, if my mouse decides to work today. If it decides to work today. Did you guys get notifications from Facebook? It's been doing all kinds of weird stuff, so I'm just curious. Oh my goodness, what is what is this? What the heck? Oh, this is horrifying. I'm gonna have to pull this up because you got you got it. You're gonna have to. Yeah, this is this is interesting. Let me see if I can't get this for you. This is pretty funny. Let's see. Come on, you can do it. Let's show you what do we have now. This is actually a Facebook post. Let's see if I can't. Ah, trying to make it fit. 
morning to show us for entertainment purposes only. All right, there we go. There we go, and then we gotta shrink it down. It's always so exciting when I have to mess with all these things. Let's see, is that, yep, that's all of it, okay. <laughs> this is horrifying. You guys are gonna get a kick out of this, hopefully. All right, I'm gonna have to read it to you because it's kind of small, but we'll pull that over for you. Diana says, uh, what's Peep Lois holding? Oh, oh, uh, she's got some peanuts with her this morning. Apparently she's, uh, uh hungry. <laughs> Debbie says, good Friday morning. Good morning. Good to see ya. Renee says, is Lois Peep hungry or did you need to set, uh, your own, your own on a down? Nope. Nah, yeah, she's hungry. Yeah. And she's trying to turn into a peanut instead of a peep. It's a different kind of diet. All right, so uh, here's... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and read this for you because I know it's really tiny out there, but it says, Fall Eluja. The temperatures should be dropping soon. With summer ending, the chief has approved our new fall gear as we patrol South Lake to keep you safe. Officer Page looks especially thrilled as he dons his mandatory cream scarf, Ugg boots, and pumpkin spice beverage. Remember, this is still part of the No Refusal DWI holiday weekend, so call an Uber or a cab if you drink alcohol. Be safe. Uh, yes, apparently they do have some uh, interesting things out there. That is, that's kind of funny, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, man. They've got scarves and the pumpkin spice. The pumpkin spice is already coming out of the woodwork, man. Oh, the pumpkin spice, the pumpkin spice. John says, peep eating peanuts. Yes, there is a peep eating peanuts over there. <laughs> Roberta's laughing. She says, oh, no. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's uh, that's quite the fashion statement. Maybe we'll have to talk to our uh, our own chief of police and see if they have official fall gear for uh, the changing temperatures. Although right now, it's still hotter than beep outside. So there is always that. Ugh, that's funny. Speaking of uh, pumpkin spice, and uh, I don't know why that made it pop into my head, but who's been to Walmart in the last couple of days? Holy freaking monkey, man. Who's been to Walmart? Here in Page, Arizona, they've been doing a remodel. And I went in there. Uh, it was yesterday. Yesterday I went in there. Holy freaking monkey, that place is a disaster. I mean, you can't find nothing. They have a big sign right when you walk in the main doors, that the toy department and furniture department are now located in the garden center. And I was just like... And so, yeah, the in, both of them. They got the racks, everything is all over in the garden center. They got the toys, they've got furniture. Oh, a bunch of furniture on clearance, by the way. If you guys uh, need some extra uh, cheap furniture for the house, they've got all kinds of stuff on clearance. They have these really nice office chairs that are normally like 200 bucks, only $99. I will not be getting one of those chairs, but I can still think about it. That's all I'm saying. But uh, yeah, that's, oh man, the whole front end yesterday, uh, like right behind the registers, that entire area was completely emptied out and they're installing like new flooring. It was crazy, man, crazy. I checked the comments over here. Debbie says, Lois Peep is feeling a little nutty on Friday. Exactly, there you go. And Diana says, uh, are they bulletproof scarves? I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to uh, send him a message. <coughs> Maybe Kevlar. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, Renee says, uh, that place is a bleeping mess. Yes, Walmart, man. Walmart. Oh! And you can't find anything. Not only is everything rearranged, like, I mean, they, like, started on one side of the store, and they're working their way across the whole mess. And it's, oh, you can't find nothing. Although, it, I guess at least they put up a sign that they've moved departments to the garden center. I don't know. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. But that whole empty spot, I actually took some pictures. I, I guess I should have. I guess I should have brought them up, but you guys probably won't be able to see it. I'll try, but I wouldn't hold my hopes up. Let's see. If you didn't get a chance to see it, let's see if, uh, if this will work. Probably not, but let's see. That is right in front of the registers. Eh, I guess, yeah. That's right right there in front of the registers. Uh, yeah, it's all freaking empty. Everything's moved. Ah! And then, uh, let's see, I did take some... I don't know. Can you guys see that or no? Let's see. What, oh, yeah, here, here's the sign they had up there. 
Let's see. Toys has Toys has move temporarily to garden department. Aw, oh, look at that. They they can spell. Furniture is temporarily in garden department. <laughs> oh my goodness. I wish you guys I mean you know what? I will post this on Unplugged so you guys can see this. But I didn't even notice that they misspelled so many things on their sign. <laughs> That's amazing. Only in page, man. Only in page. I'm not going to test that. And then, uh, yeah, the whole garden department thing is completely insane. It's, like I said, you've got toys over there instead of the instead of the garden center. And then you've got the furniture department outside. Plus, there's still some garden department stuff. It's a freaking disaster. And then over on the grocery side, you can't find anything because they've like, they've, like, taken it and, like, played the shell game with all of the different stuff over in the grocery aisles. So it takes a while to find anything. Yeah, it's kind of disconcerting when you've been shopping there for so many years and everything's always been in the same spot. Now, it's a disaster. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm definitely putting that in unplugged. As a matter of fact, here, I'm going to do that right now for our Unplugged members. If you guys don't know what Behind the Hat Unplugged is, it is our behind-the-scenes group. You can join it for $10 a month to help support the cause and see weird stuff like this. Unfortunately, it's not coming across on the camera very well, but let me see if I can do this. You guys have got to see this. Let's see. Do -do 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 -do. All right, I'm going to put uh, all of these Walmart pictures I took up in there. Bam! And post. All right. So unplugged. I just uploaded all that for you guys. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Holy cow. That's... Oh, I've just been notified from uh, YouTube that I'm live. Oh, I know. Thank you. Oh, uh, let's see. Matt says, weekend after Labor Day weekend used to signify the start of uh, resident season on the lake. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't realize that. Uh, John says uh, they're going to stop selling ammo and firearms. Yeah, more specifically, they said on the, in their press release, if if you will, that they're going to stop selling handgun ammunition and 5.56223 five, two, two, ammunition. So we would boycott the Walmart if we could, but unfortunately, it's Paige, and that's pretty much the only place to shop. So what do you do? You're kind of screwed on that one. Uh, don't get me started, man. Warning, the show is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, Gina says, uh, it may be a mess, but it will be awesome. It might be. Yeah, we'll have to keep our fingers crossed and see. Roberta says, that's crazy. Yeah, it's nuts, man. It is crazy. John says, uh, big box stores need to alphabetize their products. <laughs> Beers and bras, aisle two. That would be pretty funny. I'll give you that. That's <laughs> Debbie says, uh, is the Walmart y'all's only place to do grocery shopping? Uh, we do have uh, a Safeway as well. Uh, but depending on the day, their prices sometimes are a lot more expensive. It depends on what you're trying to find, but for the most part, it's a lot more. Uh, let's see. Diana says, Safeway is my go-to. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, well, I go out there when they have sales, like on their meats when they have sales. That's like, what is it, like Tuesdays or something? Sometimes you can get some pretty awesome deals up there. Debbie says, uh, <clears throat> good, glad you guys go uh, somewhere, got somewhere else to go. Uh, why would Walmart start remodeling on a busy Labor Day? Uh, I bet that was a mess. Yeah, well, they've been doing it for a while now. It's just been like a slow progression through the store, and it's still happening. So, yeah, it is a mess. You're trying to find stuff. <clears throat> and you just, <laughs> I, just ah. I don't know if it was supposed to take this long, but, I mean, they are remodeling the entire store. So they, like, keep moving entire departments, like, from here to there so they can move this one to there. It's like I said, it's like they're playing a giant shell game and they're also putting down like some kind of new flooring in a lot of sections. Although some of the new flooring I've seen looks like it's already been thrashed by the moving. So we'll have to see how that goes. Hopefully it's not completely destroyed. It'd be kind of sad to remodel your store and then realize it's toast. So, I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and dig more into what Lois has gotten us today. Oh no! So Lois says this. This is still the people category. She says to help restore your faith in humanity, Chris. Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. Yeah, no, I don't think I don't know much that's going to restore my faith in humanity, but maybe, maybe. Do, 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 do. Let's see. John says, uh, kind of like uh, DOT on Roadwork. Yeah, happens the worst possible times, right? 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Remember, this show is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> oh, she might be right. This is horrifying. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh, I forgot to take my allergy stuff this morning. Alright, here is the headline, guys. Thousands of people to attend a barbecue outside the home of a vegan who sued her neighbors over smelly meats. <laughs> she sued her neighbor over... I, I, I don't even know. What? Like, wait, really? All right, let's see. Oh, this is in Australia. So thousands of people are roasting an Australian vegan who took her neighbors to court over the smell of meat and fish from their barbecue. Oh, by the way, that can happen here in Page now. If you didn't know, uh, in our new zoning code, if your uh, if your barbecue smell crosses over your fence line and someone finds it offensive, you can now get fined. Just thought I'd throw that out there. But anyway, thousands of people are roasting an Australian vegan who took her neighbors to court over the smell of meat and fish from their barbecue by planning a massive cookout outside of her house. The, this person made headlines this week for her uh, legal beef in which she claimed the odors from her neighbor's barbecue had destroyed her quality of life. Now more than 3,000 people are planning to attend a cookout outside her house, organized on a Facebook page called Community Barbecue <laughs> for the person uh, that we're talking about. It says, don't let her destroy good old, uh, good old Aussie traditions. Join us for a community barbecue and help this person get some pork on her fork. <laughs> oh, this is, you know what? She might be right. Maybe my faith in humanity is slowly getting restored. Uh, let's see. Debbie says, hopefully they will hire more cashiers. I've been in your Walmart a few times. No, that's not just here. That's Walmart. They don't, even if they hired more cashiers, they're not actually going to be at the checkout stands. Just saying. Matt says, uh, let them stop selling ammo. Smaller stores there can make the money. Yep. Yeah, we do have, uh, we've got several places that sell ammunition here in town, so that's awesome. Roberta says, uh, I sure do miss hearing Lois laugh. Yeah, I'm going to have to put it in there so we have a laugh tape. Uh, let's see. Gina says, yay for barbecue. I am so proud of these people, right? Roberta says, uh, pork on her fork. Love it. Yeah, that's pretty good. And that's all in capitals, too. Get some pork on her fork. It says, the barbecue is scheduled for October 19th, and vegans are not welcome, the page says. Uh, this person's legal battle with her neighbors began last year. Her complaint was tossed out of court earlier this year, and she filed an appeal. The appeal was also rejected in July, but she has vowed to keep fighting. Well, you keep fighting there, tree-hugging sprout person. <laughs> I have no sympathy. I have no sympathy. All right, let's see. What? <laughs> Sorry. That, that is kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's see. Debbie says, uh, dang, what next? If you pass gas, uh, you can get sued. Actually, like I said, uh, the new zoning laws in a lot of towns, including your very own beloved page here, technically, if it crosses your fence line and someone finds it offensive, yeah. Uh, Don says, good morning from New Mexico. Good morning, Don. Good to see you. And Sean says, uh, so if the vegan mows the lawn <laughs> and that fresh cut smell... Uh, expensive meat eaters, do they, <laughs> yeah, do they get cited as well? Yeah. Yeah, that's how ridiculous that law is, basically. Um, yeah, if, if you have a smell of some kind that crosses your fence line and it offends somebody, then they can call and complain and the, the city can come down and fine your butt. Yeah, mm-hmm. Don't, don't get me started. Hey, I tried to warn everybody out there, but what do you do? What do you do? All right, let's see. <clears throat> Morning. This show is for entertainment purposes only. All right, this is still in the people category. Lois says, and now to destroy said faith in humanity. <laughs> Face palm. <laughs> That's literally what she has on there. Uh, let's see. Florida and this guy. Uh, apparently there's an interview video. I don't know if I want to 
do an interview video. We'll have to see what it is. What do you got, Lois? What do you got? While we're waiting for that to load, hold on a second. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my. Oh my. I'm kind of horrified here. Matt says, uh, you can download an app on your phone for Walmart and find where everything is, where everything is at, uh, and if it's in stock, uh, you can even order your meds. I'm sure you can, but it wouldn't work right now because they're reorganizing everything. So, yeah, the shell game is still going on. Roberta says, uh, that's ridiculous. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. John says, I'm glad I have no neighbors. Yeah, yeah, one of these days I'll be able to get myself 20, 40, 100 acres of land, and I'll be right in the middle of it. And nobody will be able to bother me. It'll be amazing. Oh. All right. But anyway. All right. So, Florida man goes viral for hilarious suggestions on how to fight powerful hurricanes. Oh, no. Do I want to know? Let's see. Hold on. Ugh. So many ads. So many ads. Uh, let's see. I'm looking. Okay, so apparently we are going to have to. Where is the video, man? There's no video. She said. Oh, there. Oh, this is the video. All right. So apparently we're going to have to try this one. Give me a sec to pull it up, guys. We've got to reframe it for a video here. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. There we go. Maybe. There we go. All right. And I guess I'm going to have to unmute it for you. Darn it. Lois, you're making a mess. Making a mess out of the show. Here we go. All right, so here's the genius. We're gonna have to. We'll have to listen together at the same time. Let me see if I can. Uh, let's see. I'll unmute that for you guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, Gwenny says hello from Utah. See you, Lake Powell, this weekend. Awesome. Make sure you drive safe and have a good time out there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So I'm going to turn this up a little bit. Let's see uh, Let's see what this knucklehead says. It says, from a mobile home park in Palm Bay, this man has some ideas on how the military could stop hurricanes. Is it going to work? Really? Come on. Just play. Can't see how they haven't come up with some kind of way to com combat these storms yet. They keep saying, uh, you know, two days ago, three days ago, oh, it's said this, but it's going to hit all this warm weather. All this warm weather and warm water. We have a Navy. Why don't the Navy come and drop ice in the warm water so it, does, it can't get going as fast as it's going? There's got to be ways to combat this instead of just pointing at the thing and saying, well, it's, uh, now it's getting worse. Yeah, we know it's getting worse, but you tell us, oh, it's the warm weather, oh, it's the wind. Well, we have an Air Force. Drive some Air Force planes around to get the winds going the opposite way. The Navy to go in circles to fight it the other way. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess that. Yeah. Did you? Were you guys able to hear that? I. I... So this guy's from Florida. Apparently, all we need to do is drop some ice in there or fly planes in the opposite direction of the hurricane. Oh boy. Yeah, that's amazing. That is amazing. I'm not really sure what to say to that. She's right. That small glimmer of hope I had for humanity is now gone. I just, uh, <laughs> it, it, I, I don't know what to say. It just, I just... What, what do you do with that, man? What do you do with that? Oh, my goodness. For a bird, is like, oh, yeah, pretty much. Matt says, uh, what the freak? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, Gina's laughing. Roberta says, that's great, yeah. yeah you know what? Uh, just for cheap entertainment you know, and wasting, you know, uh, you know, a few billion dollars in taxpayer money, maybe they should try it just for this guy. I wonder how many people actually think that would work. If they do, oh, man. Yeah, my hope for humanity is gone. It is. Well, well not that it was, you know, it, it had a very tentative grip anyway, and... Now it's totally gone. Hold on, I got a bunch of windows open here that's like ridiculous. Let me see if I can't close them. Ah, there's stuff everywhere. All right, there we go. I. Remember, people, he's breathing our air, he is stealing it from the rest of us. 
<coughs> Warning. This show is for entertainment purposes only. And Diana says, uh, I don't understand. Vegans eat fake burgers and make substitutes for things with meat, but real smell bothers them? Things that make you go... Yep, pretty much. Roberta says, priceless. Yeah, it just... Remember, he's stealing your oxygen. Gina says, uh, lost you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Not good, not good. It's the Raiders like, yeah, it, it is. It's horrifying. Matt says, uh, I heard a radio station claiming China and Russia sent the hurricane over. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's another one for you. <coughs> I'm sure they have giant hurricane generating machines over there. But apparently our military is ready to go. We'll dump uh, some ice over in the ocean in there. Run those planes uh, in the opposite direction of the hurricane and see what happens. No, that is not how the real world works. You know what? It's like it's probably one of those flat earthers. Although the flat earth society is funny, but uh, well, the ones that have a sense of humor are anyway. My dad actually has one of those shirts, flat earth society. Those crack me up. And for most of them, it, you know, it's just for fun. But there are some people out there. Oh, man, I don't know. Debbie says, uh, he must not know how that works. <laughs> she says, I need to call my friends uh, in Nags Head now and tell them to throw ice in the water. <laughs> uh, they are getting it now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And if they do, uh, have them video it for us so we can see exactly how well that works out for them. All right. So the next one, under people. Let's see. What do we have here? Lois says, Warning. The writing is a bit off. What the wife did is probably something I'd do to me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What did I do? All right, see, what, or what would I do? <laughs> All right. So this is from, uh, from Britain, across the pond over there. A dad flies a plane to Spain himself. After a pilot doesn't show up. <laughs> uh, let's see. A British dad spared EasyJet holidaymakers a long delay on the tarmac by flying the plane to Spain himself. This sounds like a Dr. Seuss thing. Uh, let's see. This guy was among the frustrated tourists on the plane grounded after being one captain down on Sunday. He was hoping to jet off to uh, Spain with his wife and young son. But as a pilot with this uh, airline service himself, he rang his bosses and volunteered to take the plane the 1,500 miles or so south. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, yeah, the guy got frustrated. I mean, it's not as funny now that we know he works for the people, but it is kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Let's see, um, dum, 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 dum. Tried to, yeah, I, I could, you know, if I knew how to fly a plane, I would definitely do that. Yeah, it's, it's having to wait for that stuff sometimes is just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Uh, let's see, Diana says, uh, he's also exhaling his stupid CO2 for us to breathe. Ah, yes, but at least it helps the plants, I guess, right? <laughs> And Diana says, CO2, whatever it is. It, the carbon dioxide. Yeah, okay. Diana says, see, it's affecting me. Yeah, yeah, I know. Stupid is contagious. Just putting that out there. Be aware. It is contagious. <clears throat> All right, let's see. What else does Lois have for us today? All right, the next category is places. She says about this one, here's another list of places to visit. Some of these are just... Well, mind-boggling. Potato-shaped hotel, anyone? I guess it makes uh, sense since it's in Idaho. <laughs> oh, no. Hopefully this is better than the last list. The last list was, oh, it was terrible. You guys remember the last list? Come on. It's not letting me click. There we go. Yeah, the last list was, I, I'm not sure what it was. It was written very poorly. There were no pictures. Let's see. Hopefully this one's at least got pictures. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Uh, let's see. Whoa. Yeah, there are some pretty neat places. Hmm. But it's going to be interesting. Can I actually pull this up? Huh. Well, I guess we can try. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. This is going to be an interesting one because it's kind of an odd layout. So 
Give me just a second, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Let's see. It's about three wide. All right. We will pull this up for you guys, and then uh, we'll click on some links while we're looking at it. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh, nope. That's too big. Morning. Show's for entertainment purposes only. Come on. Work with me. Sorry, guys. All right. There we go. We'll, uh, we'll start checking these out here in just a second. John says, uh, U.S. Marshals in Contra yesterday looking for the two escaped murderers. Really? Hmm. Uh, Diana says, uh, I heard it was Trump. Oh, no. Let's not do the political thing, people. Let's not do that. Okay? All right. Where? Oh, there we go. All right. So, where? Oh, this is not showing the right section here. Okay. Well, we'll just start on that one, I guess. So this one on the far side over there with the uh, the thingamabobs, it says that is called the Garden of Cosmic Speculation. It's in Scotland. Hmm. Well, let's open that. Let's let's check this out and see what it is. So that's that's that left one. Let me see what we have here. Um. Let's see. Oh, they, they may actually have. Uh, I'm not sure. Hmm. They actually. Oh, there we go. It's got a bigger picture. Oh, ads, you gotta love them. Uh, let's see, it says, This sculpture garden was created by Charles Jenks, a renowned landscape architect and theorist, and Maggie Ken uh, Keswick, his late wife. They chose their home, Potrack House, to be the location for their dream. Wow, that's actually kind of neat looking. Here, I will, uh, I'll pull this up for you guys, because that's actually kind of interesting. Uh, don't mind the stupid ads on the side, but uh, here's here's the general layout for you. And then if you, uh, we'll scroll down here. Look at that. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Look at that. That's pretty neat. And then uh, that's called uh, the Black Hole Terrace. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, that sculpture garden covers 30 acres and has unusual designs, which was inspired by contemporary cosmology. Nice. Just uh, like much of Charles Jenks' works, the masterpiece that they created features landscape and sculptures based on the Big Bang, geometric fractals, twisting DNA helixes, and black holes. Wow. Look at that. That's kind of neat. All right. I'm impressed. Let's see what else we have in here. Look at that. That is really cool. Huh. Oh, check it out. <laughs> That's fun. All right. All right. Let's see. There's some more pictures for you. How cool! Whoa! Wow! That is, oh wow! Look at that. That is really interesting. Hmm. All right, cool. Well, let's uh, let's let's pop back over to the list and see what other craziness they have in store for us. Uh, hmm. Let me check the comments over here. Roberta says, "How cool! Yeah, that's pretty neat." And Matt's like, Ooh. <laughs> "Debbie says that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty interesting." All right, let's look at the middle one with the dude standing on the rock. That's, ooh, Kira Gabolton, top hiking destination in Norway. I'm sure I butchered the bejesus out of that name, but let's see what they've got over here. All right, so Kira Gabolton, top hiking destination in Norway. Let's see, it's got to do, ooh, wow, that is really tall, actually. I think I actually, here, and once again, don't mind the ads on the side, sorry, guys. But if I keep having to resize that, this is going to take all day, and you don't want that. All right, so there's the dude. Look how far up this thing is. Look, I'll go slow. <laughs> That's nuts. It says, located in southern Norway, Kyrbolten is a hiker's dream come true. This place is hard to miss. A massive boulder lodged in a mountain fissure is probably the most photograph photographed rock in Norway. Oh, what are we doing? I guess that is kind of cool. Huh. Wouldn't mind checking that out. Nope, they got another person standing up there for you. And uh, hanging out next to uh, the thing. That is really cool. That is pretty neat. Ooh, look at that. That's almost like looking at Horseshoe Bend and they got little feet dangling down. <laughs> All right, nice. All right, All right. Kind of cool, kind of cool. John says, uh, I don't want to mow it. Yeah, the, the sculpture garden, that'd be crazy. Um, or <laughs> Debbie says uh, it reminds you of Alice in Wonderland. Yes, yes, it does actually. And believe it or not, another scientific work right there. Uh, the dad was actually uh, trying to teach his daughter 
about uh, some bizarre mathematical concepts and uh, some interdimensional stuff. So believe it or not. Uh, let's see. Shelby says, uh, where is Lois at? She's right there. <laughs> John says, nope. Yeah, all the nope. Definitely not. All right, let's see what else we got. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. All right, we'll go ahead and transfer back over here. Uh, now we're going to do the one that's uh, directly over my head here. This is a uh, Ajara Coastline, home to the beautiful mountains, beaches, and the city of Batumi. Batumi. Probably mispronouncing that as well. Let's see, what do we have here? All right, so... Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, those have kind of a neat build. All right, let's, we'll go ahead and pop this up for you guys. Let's see. Do, 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 do. So here we go. Uh, they do have uh, some pictures. That's very nice. Look at that. Very green. Very green. It says, when choosing a vacation destination, it is important not to be limited for travelers who want to explore as much as possible in a short amount of time. Ajara, Georgia is a perfect place. There's a picture there. Look at that. Like a little picturesque village. Uh, let's see. Located in southwest Georgia, Ajara is stretched on the Black Sea coast while sitting on the lush Lesser Caucasus Mountains. It is a diverse holiday destination, and it has a lot to offer. Ajara has it all. A subtropical climate, warm seawater, sand beaches, mountain springs, and green forest hills. Nice. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Check that out. <coughs> that's kind of neat. I like that. Apparently, it's got a lot of different... Oh. There you go. Bam. Hmm. All right. Oh, wow. That's, uh, this, oh, this is uh, the skyline of Batumi. All right. I've never heard of that place, but cool. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Maybe. <laughs> wow. That is kind of cool. So they've got pretty much everything there for you. Nice beaches, the whole nine yards. All right. Cool. Let's see if we can't find something even more bizarre out there, shall we? Uh, let's see, Diana says, nope. <laughs> Debbie says, uh, cool until the wind blows their butt off the high rock. Yeah, pretty much. Robert, uh, Roberta says, beautiful. Yeah, definitely. Renee says, uh, that reminds me. I need a vacation. Can I start a GoFundMe for that? Sure, why not? You never know. Could happen. Could happen. All right, let's see what else we have. Let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to find some. Oh, there you go. That one looks kind of crazy. We'll go with that. All right, I'm going to... Ah! Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm working on it. I'm working on it! Man, what a... Sometimes when you have too many monitors, I tell you what, it makes it more difficult. <laughs> All right, let's see. We are going to do this middle one, I think. Come on, work with me here. There we go. All right. There we go. We're going to do this middle one here. It's a medieval French town on the edge of a giant hole. How cool is that? Look at that picture. There's houses right there. That's crazy. Let's take a look at that one. That, that could be interesting. Let's see what we've got. Let's see. What is this called? All right. There, I'll, I will uh, pop this over. Once again, don't mind the uh, advertisements over there. So this is uh, Bazoul's Village. It's located in Aveyron region, southern France. The village has been existing for almost a... Man, whoever wrote this doesn't speak English very well. Sounds like one of them Changlish manuals you can get. The village has been existing for almost a 10 centuries, and it is located on the edge of a horseshoe-shaped canyon cliff. Let's see, I got some more pictures, maybe? Oh, wow, look at that! That's cool, check it out! There's a castle in the middle of the hole. And then there's, look at that, the whole village is lined up around it. That is neat. <laughs> I would not mind checking that out. That is pretty cool. I thought it was a much larger one, but that's that is neat. I'll be darned. Yeah. All right. What else? Do I got any other pictures? Let's see. Oh, there we go. Check that out. I'll be darned. Wow. That is really cool. Oh, look. There you go. There's a better view of it. Look at that. I'll be darned. It says, Bazula still maintains its ancient and Roman history. There is the sculpture named... Uh, oh, all right. You know, I, it drives me crazy when people write stuff that's supposed to be looked at by others. And, you know. 
Uh, let's see. Apparently, 3,000 people live in that ancient village, and it provides the best place for viewing the Bazoo's Hole for free. You can walk along the whole street while sipping espresso bought from a nearby cafe, apparently. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there's some more pictures there. Yeah, old medieval houses. Wow, look at that. Huh. Won't be darn. I don't know. I definitely want to visit. What about you guys? Check the comments over here while we're poking around. Let's see. Um, Matt says, so cool. Maybe it's haunted. Yeah. Roberta says, wow. Yeah. Matt says, maybe. <laughs> Shelby says, uh, that is very crazy. And it's beautiful land. Yeah, definitely. Diana says, it's Bizarro World. Castle usually on top of a hill. Yeah, well, now it's like an, it's a, almost like an oubliette. <laughs> That's fascinating. Really neat. I mean, check that out. That was pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, there you go. There's another nice picture. Oh, look at that. That is really cool. I mean, it works. It's almost like a giant moat. <laughs> You've got one defensible uh, way coming in. Uh, vertical sides. I mean, eh, fairly defensible. Unless uh, you get overrun and you can't escape. <laughs> then you're kind of hosed. All right, let's see what else we have. Let's see if we can find anything else interesting here. We'll take a look. Let's see. Prague's narrowest street with traffic lights. Are you serious? That is a street. Look at this one right over my head. This is a street right here, and they actually have a traffic light right there. Holy cow. That's weird. Let's see if we can't find anything weirder, though. What is this? What have we got? Let's see. Do, 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 do. The Rain Vortex, the tallest indoor waterfall in the world. That's that middle one over here. Let's take a look at that one. That one could be interesting. Let's see, let's see. Hmm, fascinating. Debbie says, uh, I heard there is a crater in Arizona you can walk out to on a bridge. Have you been there? No, I have not. That's kind of interesting. Renee says, uh, I want to go in the castle. Yeah, definitely. Cast I love castles. Castles are awesome. All right, so here is the rain vortex, the tallest indoor waterfall in the world. Let's take a look and see. Wow, that is really cool. Look at that. Huh. I wonder how tall it is. You know how pictures can be really deceiving on scale. Hmm, that is really neat though. Check that out. It says, located in Jewel Changi Airport, Singapore, the Rain Vortex Waterfall is over 130 feet tall. The widest point of the steel and glass bagel-shaped roof is over 656 feet high. Wow! That is a lot bigger than it looks in that picture. Holy cow! 130 foot waterfall, and then the, you see how it kind of slopes up like that? Over at the end, 656 feet tall. That is crazy! Holy cow! Uh, the waterfall was designed by Saudi architects as the centerpiece of the airport with the goal of making Changi Airport an attraction and to encourage Singapore leisure travel. The sculpture is the jewel of the airport and Singapore. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that, yeah, that thing in the middle, that's, that's sort of actual waterfall. That is interesting. <coughs> Looks like there's a tram of some kind that goes around too. Can you guys see that over there? Look, looks like a tram. That is interesting. And it, it, it almost looks like it's a, one of those rendered concept drawings and that it's not real, but it's totally real. That is freaky. Whoa. How neat is that? Uh, let's see. Uh, let me check out this next. Oh, look, there's waterfall uh, like stair things. It says the work on the rain vortex uh, began in 2014. Um, Safdi has been at the forefront in championing architectural designs that respond to extreme weather and temperature conditions. Since Singapore experiences thunderstorms frequently, the seven-story waterfall is supplied by captured or harvested rainwater. The collected rainwater is able to flow at the greenhouse center with an inverted glass dome. About 10,000 gallons of water per minute gets pumped through and is reused in the installation. Ha! Neat! Oh, there you go. There's a picture of the glass there. 
Uh, let's see, the overhead dome has a thick glass that absorbs any aircraft noises produced during landing or takeoff. The roof was also tested to ensure that it does not emit reflections, which could potentially distract air traffic controllers. The waterfall is surrounded by terraces with more than 200 plant species. <coughs> the terraced garden is referred to as... <coughs> excuse me. The terraced garden is referred to as the Shiseido Forest Valley, and it is dotted with small waterfalls. I want to go to Singapore just to see this thing. This is crazy. Look at this thing. This glass encased building does not only serve as a portal to Singapore's Changi Airport, but also as an entertainment and retail destination. So whether you are traveling to Singapore or just waiting for a connecting flight, the rain vortex is worth seeing, it says. Look at that. That's epic. Holy cow. Yeah, I mean, you could, like, go on a trip to Singapore and just hang out there, right? I mean, this place is ginormous. Look at that thing. Oh, there's another picture. Look at that. This whole place is, like, larger than life. It's so weird, but cool. Look at that. Holy cow. They got tons of pictures. Man, this is really neat. Look at that garden with just... Whew. It reminds me... You know what it reminds me of is... Uh, here goes my dork side, but uh, it reminds me of uh, like one of the space stations on Star Trek, one of the really big ones. That is really cool. And then back to that waterfall. Man, 130 feet tall. Anyway, yeah. All right, all right. Very, very cool. All right, let's see. Do we have, what else do we have here? <clears throat> Whoa, that's a weird one. All right, we'll check out that one next. I didn't realize what it was until it looked closer. Let me check the comments here. John says, uh, <laughs> that's what she said. Or destroy us for the purposes only. Diana says, uh, think the Saudis have stolen the big crown from Texas. Saudis. That wasn't, uh, that was Singapore. Uh, Debbie says, uh, wonder how many people missed their flight looking at all that cool stuff in the airport. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that is really interesting. All right, so it looks like we have time for one more. We'll go ahead and check it out here. All right, so this one is the one right where my head's at, right above us here. I wasn't really sure what I was looking at until I read it. Oh, it looks like our internet is going kaput. Sorry, guys. So uh, these are people on bicycles right here. This is cycling through water, an unconventional dip into Belgium's ponds. Let's take a look and see what they have here. That is kind of interesting, not gonna lie. Uh, let's see, do, 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 do. wow, that is cool. All right, we will go ahead and pop this over here. <clears throat> Actually, let me see if I can't, I'm gonna resize this for you guys. Since it's our last one, I'll go ahead and do a resize and see if you guys can't see it better. Bam, there we go. All right. This says, imagine riding a bicycle through the pond, under the water level, bringing you eye to eye with the calm water and the curious ducks and swans. The innovative team of the Cycling Through Water Trail have created exactly that. Located in, the Limburg Bel uh, in Limburg, Belgium, the trail takes visitors on an exceptional journey through the serene and beautiful De, Wide De Wires Reserve where they got uh, closer to nature. Okay, the writing is horrible on this, so we'll just uh, check, check this out. Look at that. Ha! We're just looking at pictures. How cool is that? How strange. Wow. Oh, apparently it was opened in 2016 as a part of an effort to boost bicycle tourism in the province. Cool. Apparently, uh, it used to be difficult to explore, and now it is not. Let's see if they got more pictures. Oh, look, there you go. You can see it kind of goes down in there. Hmm. Let me check the comments uh, since our internet's doing fun stuff. Matt says, uh, got me researching these places now. Awesome. <laughs> these places are neat. Uh, Renee says, uh, the holodeck. Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, Diana says, uh, the waterfall in the airport you said was made by a, a Saudi. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't really paying attention. The, the article, most of these articles are written very, very poorly. But the pictures are cool. So <laughs> it's like a picture book. Uh, let's see, Roberta says, that's awesome. It may have been made by a Saudi, but it's definitely, uh, it's in Singapore, so. 
Uh, John says, uh, till it rains for two days. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they have an emergency purge system, right? All right, let's see. Uh, let's let's go ahead and scroll down some more. Oh, wow, look at that. Holy cow. That is neat. Check that out. Oh, my head's in here. There you go. Now you guys can check that out. Look at that. What a picture. Can you imagine going on a bike ride through something like that? Ooh -wee. That is really cool. I wonder if they got any other pictures in here. Let's take a look. Like I said, this is our last one, so let's check. Oh, there you go. Hey, right. look at that. That is epic. Huh, I'll be darned. That is really neat. Hmm. So, okay, so it's just this one. Okay, I mean, it's really cool, but the way, see, this is what I'm talking about, piss poor written articles. You know, it said that it went through and under and everything. I guess it's just this one stretch here, unless we find something else. But that is, I mean, the pictures are epic. Look at that. <laughs> wow, that is really neat. Oh, they got it. There you go. There's a nice view of that. Hmm, I'll be darned. That is really cool. Yeah, so it's just this one path, but man, it, it, there's some some epic uh, epic photos they got of that it's like parting the red sea oh that they got a video we we'll probably get copyright infringement if we play it <laughs> i'll be darn all right well let's see here Doo -doo. where am i at ah, buttons buttons everywhere plus our internet's going which is always exciting all right guys well that is all the time we have today let me go ahead and check the comments one last time here uh, let's see, Roberta says, I would love to ride through that. I know, right? That's pretty cool. John says, uh, the birds are flying wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Renee's like, oh, yeah, that's really cool. All right, guys, that's all the time we have today. Thank you for being here. Thanks for liking, commenting, and sharing on all of these videos, and taking a journey to strange places that are written about poorly on the internet. <laughs> I hope you guys have an amazing Friday. Make it epic. Have an amazing weekend, and we will catch you on the next one. Until then. Mm -hmm.